Hey, it's Rokas, your digital lifestyle expert here, and I'm going to show you some tips on using the Maps function on the new Apple iPad. All right, let's get started. The materials we'll need are an iPad, your finger, or an iPad stylist. All right, to launch the Maps feature, we simply push the Maps button. All right, and to find out where we are in the world, it's still the same icon right up here will tell us locate in on where you are. And yes, of course, we want it to use our current location, otherwise it would have a hard time finding us. Now, it's interesting to note here that you have to be in a Wi-Fi area to go ahead and lock this down on the maps, um, because this is not the 3G one, it has not been released yet. Another thing is, is to pull to zoom in on your area, and want to pinch to zoom out, okay? Another great tip is to know that there's more information hiding back here, all right? We got the classic, and one of my favorites is the hybrid. So we get a chance to see our super secret studios right here from the sky. All right, oh, too much. Pinch out there. All right, so that's where we are. Okay, and now we can see that by terrain. Also an interesting thing. Now, what you're gonna notice here is nothing. That's because we're in Florida and there is pretty much no topography. We are about as flat as we can get, all right? Another great tip is to turn on your traffic so we can see where there's problems. Let me turn the train back off to classic mode. All right, you can see right out in front of the studios, we've got, you know, light but good traffic. For some reason, there's something happening just up the street over here. Oh, it's not good right around, uh, right around 51st Street North, and we're going to pull out over here, okay? Another thing to, um, another neat thing to keep in mind is, is that if you need directions, okay, and we won't actually set in directions here, I'm going to take it off for a sec, is if you set in directions and it gives you them, well, you're going to leave Wi-Fi and you not, might not be able to see them. If you push the power button and the home button simultaneously for a second, it'll want to turn itself off. Don't do that. Just pop it for a sec. You see that? It took a picture of it. If I pop over here and go to my photos and go to my save photos, double tap it, and there it is. Now this is great because again, I'm Wi-Fi only and I don't have 3G, so if I'm driving in the car, it won't track me, but at least I can see exactly where we're going. And it's just that easy. Never get lost again with the Maps feature on the new Apple iPad. I'm Rokaz, your digital lifestyle expert, saying, stream you later.